Easter is approaching, which means it's flying season. It's a time of the year when many families will take their children kite flying nationwide. However, the Marcus family has decided to ensure that hundreds of children will be able to partake in the beloved pastime. In a telephone interview, Jeremiah Marcus spoke about the initiative. All about the foundation, um, my father, uh, he was a lover of Easter, and every single year he carried us out and probably put up the kite and all these different stuff. And the, the currently, the, the, the feeling that Easter brings, the kites in the sky decreasing, the amount of kites in the sky decreasing, everybody on the phone, nobody playing with each other, like the children. Mm -hmm. it, it's a whole different generation. So we're just trying to um, give back to the community and, and try to get back this all nostalgic feeling. His father, the late pastor James Marcus, died two years ago from cancer. While he was alive, he would share kites to children of work in Ross, Workmanville and Lodge. His five children have decided to form a James Marcus Foundation to continue their father's legacy. Just to give back to the community, give back to the youth, give back to the younger generation so that um, it's all to show the love and all that. 1,500 kites are expected to be distributed tomorrow, March 28, at 10 a.m. at the church building located at 40 Durban Street, and the children are encouraged to come to receive their free kite. While children enjoy receiving their free kite, Marcus noted the family also distributes school supplies to the less fortunate children. Kite is just around Easter time, like when school, when school time comes around, you will, we would share like books and um, um, classroom equipment and stationery and give them bags and lunch kits, you know, stuff to start off the school year and school mm -hmm. term. If mostly for the less fortunate who, who are not able to, you know, acquire all the different stuff that they need for school, mm -hmm. we will try to help out in those areas. If you would like to contribute to the foundation, you can make contact with James Marcus Foundation on 6790585 or 227-5724. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Channel 2 Headline News. If you like this story, leave a like. We'd really appreciate it. Also, you can share your views and comments below. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button for updates on all the news happening in Guyana.